This is the plaintiff, Gloria Coles. She says she owns 47 acres and her neighbors are encroaching upon her property. That's right, the rude defendants built a chicken coop and a tool shed on her land. And she kindly asked them to remove their buildings in 30 days. Well, her nasty neighbors are now tormenting her. She was forced to spend $5,000 removing her things from her property and is suing them for just that today. These are the defendants, Emily Lynn and Michael Kennedy. Emily says the plaintiff who just bought the property started having a heart attack over 30 feet of land they've been using for the past 17 years without incident. The plaintiff is the most aggressive, ugly person they've ever met. They feel since they've been using the land for 17 years, the law states they have adverse possession of it and can use it however they wish. So here they are. They're accused of a gross encroachment. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order. Lillian Simmons, Thank you, Douglas. Gloria Coles? Yes. You are suing Emily Lynn Kennedy and Michael P. Kennedy? for $5,000 in damages that you say you have sustained as a result of their um, perpetual refusal to leave a portion of your property. Tell me what's going on. Uh, yes, um, in April 27, 2015, I purchased 47 acres that it's, it's just land and it's approximately a half an hour's drive away from my home. It's adjacent to the defendants. Uh, they own, I believe, a little over an acre of land. Uh, prior to me, that's your home, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and how long have you lived there? 18 years. Okay. Prior to me purchasing it, um, the broker and the seller said that they had allowed uh, the defendants to use the property for hunting, target shooting, and they have uh, like ATVs and things, and they were allowed to use it in exchange for being caretakers of the land because they did not live there. Okay. And uh, after they so did. So, what did, can you hold on a second? What did that entail, caretaking of that land? We just primarily kept an eye on it for them for trespassers and things of that nature. Garbage um, along the road, things like Garbage that. along the road. Yeah. And that went on for how many years? Ten years. Ten years. All right. So, what did the uh, seller and the seller's agent assure you that what? That, that they would no longer trespass. And, okay. and I, I do have an email, and it was in part of the real estate agreement. And I thought, in actuality, they immediately took down the targets from the target shooting the deer stand, and they stopped using the ATVs, et cetera. You thought that that happened. Why? Because the seller told you, I talked to them, it's going to it's gonna end? They understand? Yeah, and it? I thought it had ended. But I was clearing out some brush along the stone wall, and I found the iron pin. There's previously has been several A2 surveys. So I didn't have to worry about getting another survey. So when I found the iron pin and I looked across the stone wall, I could see that they had two buildings, uh, one partly and one fully on my property. What were the two buildings that were partly and fully on your property? I do have pictures here. One of them is a chicken coop. They have free range chickens. Okay. But there were Can no I see the pictures? Yeah, these are buildings. And then this is the fire pit that they had on there. <clears throat> Okay. What am I looking at here? Whose land is that? Okay. The land behind the chairs is mine. The, okay. the, land, the property to the left is mostly theirs, and you can see the two little red buildings there. Yeah. Is that theirs or, your, or on the, your land? Those were theirs, and they had already moved them back at that point. I think okay. there's, uh, there's a place uh, where there's no grass growing. That's where they previously were. So once I had the survey done, they did move the buildings, but they also removed the boundary markers. But uh, they shouldn't have removed them. Okay. And uh, they cost me a lot of money. When you say they cost you a lot of money, that's the original survey? No, no. I had you had to, to do another survey? The survey was over $2,800 to have the engineers, because they had a clear brush to get a sight line from the pins that went belong. There were no mark. There was a pin. But and why, okay, but why didn't you just use the survey that existed already? Because the, the line wasn't marked. So what happens? You start talking to them and you start to feel the very real sensation that they don't want to move the... What had they not moved then at no. this point? They were actually, Your Honor, quite friendly at first. And then they had a garden. I see the plants coming up. I said, well, 
you can move the garden after, say, October 1st, once you've harvested your vegetables. And then the defendant said, oh, I built that big stone fire pit. So you built a, a stone fire pit on the other person's property? Many years ago. I know, but... While well, we had permission to use yeah, it. Yeah, no, but what if the guy sells a property the next it, month and you build a nice stone fire pit? It was just you rocks. You yourself? No, we just left it alone. It was just rocks that we had gathered from around our property, and we just put them in a circle. And it wasn't expensive or okay. anything like that. It was All right, just, so go on. They never moved it. They continued to use it. They would burn wood. They continued to put junk in it. Uh, in, What's in junk? In the fire pit. Um, in the fire pit. Desk and stuff. Desks. Uh, there was an old desk, wood. Uh, all of a sudden, it doesn't sound uh, like just rocks. Let grass me see that. Let grass me see. clippings. Um, and then eventually, I put up no trespassing signs. And within a half an hour, somebody took them down, cut them up, and threw them in the fire pit. Who would do that? <laughs> Which of you two did that? We did not. Well, who the heck has a motive to do that besides you guys? We have teenagers in the home. We have oh, a lot of so, teenage well, which friends. Which in your family and, did that? And, and we, the we neighbors actually... have a lot of traffic in and out, and they were also very upset about this. Honestly, but, I didn't want well, to look at them, you but I didn't take them. 47 acres. I'm trying to Nothing. Understand. No, I mean, I, okay. No. I, 47 is what she bought. What claim do you have to the strip that you've been using that makes your house bigger than what you paid for? This 30-foot stretch where we planted the apple trees was always grass. When we bought the home 18 years ago, it was grass. It was part of our lawn. We continue to mow it, maintain it. But you've since learned it's not your property. Since learned it was not our property. And when she asked us, no more ATVing, fine, it stopped. We've never ATVed another day. She asked us to move the buildings onto our property, fine, we did. We, we brought in heavy hey, equipment. You say that like somebody has to say thank you. I mean, no, but, but I'm saying she's still complaining about the buildings. And well, she's she complaining said, that you have this kind of junk on her property. I, the, the desk is not mine. Whose desk is this? The neighbor's. But it's because your fire pit. Burned. Yes, but we all burned things in there. It was... Well, what, it you was, guys got to stop, 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 stop. You, you need to Sorry. understand something. Sorry. If she owns a property and one of you folks goes on there and throws a desk and then lights a match and then burns on fire, the other one's going to sue her for having an attractive nuisance on her land. She's got liability issues. She's a businesswoman. If she says you got to get out, you got to get out. You got to take all your toys with you. Why do you feel like this is adverse possession? We needed to learn more about adverse now possession. Now you know it's not, right? If we had pursued it in the proper amount of time, I okay. think it could have Stop. been. I don't Stop. know. Stop. I don't know. Adverse what we possession did. means that you have open and notorious use of a property without the consent of the owner for X number of years or more. In your state, it's 15 years. You don't have any of the things I just said, okay? You had permission by an owner. You had a deal with the owner, and the gravy train was over, okay? That's it. That's the end of your rights there. And we, we stopped. No, we okay, stopped that's great. It. You, you did what you were supposed to do, but in the meantime, you've got ripped up, you got pulled up stakes, we've got ripped up trespassing signs, and not just that, like, and she's painting it like, oh, there's other neighbors mad at you. Tell me about the conflict between you guys. What is it that happens? That makes you think that they're the obvious ones throwing desks in there and putting... Well, there was a desk thrown in there, and when I moved the desk, this fell out. This is the original copy, Let and it's, see. it's a school that call list. Let me and see. What are you saying? You haven't even seen what it is. Because I've seen it. What is it? It's a phone tree list from my son's school. Oh, gee. Because of my How did that go get there? That has been in there for umpteen years. On it's top of the desk. desk. Okay, not umpteen years. It's been in there for over a year. On top of the desk. No. Fire underneath. Believe it was in the desk. It was under the Folks, desk. If and not you, then look how weathered it is. Sometimes if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, and quacks like a duck, I put the paper in there. It's nothing more than a duck. I would burn paper. Oh, I would burn see. things. Yeah, I'm still burning absolutely. things there, but I'm not using it anymore. I mean, it starts to make it look like maybe that's your desk there. It's not my desk. Welcome back to People's Court, Harvey Levin here. Uh, why do neighbors fight so much? Because their sprinkler hits your car. Well, but sometimes their sprinkler doesn't hit your car. I mean, why do they just inherently not get along? They need a bigger yard. But it, you know, neighbors with big yards also fight. What is it that causes neighbors to fight? Because their dogs be pooping on each other's yard. No, 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 this is not family feud. We're not coming up with the most, what is the, what is the reason why when people live next door to each other, they get so territorial? That's my question. Um, like maybe like area space, like who's, who's his? <laughs> I so feel like I'm doing family feud right now. 
Go to inside the courtroom. Okay. What other what conversations have you had with the two of them or the daughter? Oh, just that she came out. Uh, my son was with me, and the, because the apple trees were, we needed to prune them. And the daughter was on the back porch, and, and she said, "Don't touch my she apple trees." Said, she said, "Get off our property!" And I said, "It's not your property." And she said, "Don't yell at me. I'm only 17." Okay. And then the next thing I know, Mrs. Kennedy is running across the back by, by their swimming pool and onto my land. She got right up to my face and called me. I don't think you want to hear what she called oh, me. Oh, I do. <laughs> a, a little... The and daughter then, did or the mom? The mother. Oh, okay. And, and uh, then I, uh, she said... Why are you claiming, so angry, Miss Kennedy? Like, you're so dead wrong. It's so funny to me that you're so angry about this. <laughs> Your Honor, did you read yes. my letters? Did I, did, did I get to show you the letters and evidence that I brought? Hand me the letters. Who's, uh, this is a neighbor who takes care of your son? This is a friend of the family who we hired okay. to babysit for the summer. She brought my She nine asked your nine-year-old son, according to this babysitter, you knocked on the door, you asked Mikey to come out, the nine-year-old, and you said, if anybody pulls these out, you're going to have to pay me for them. Is that accurate? I knocked on the door and asked for somebody to go out, and it's so long ago, I don't remember exactly what I asked, but I, I want to express that I was a child protection investigator in special investigations for over 10 years with the Connecticut Department of um, Children and Families. And I know what to say and what not to say. Yeah, but child. I don't want you to say it to my kid. I didn't even know the child's name at that point. I was babysitting for their son. One day, Ms. Coles came to the door and asked for Mikey to come to the door. He heard her, and the next thing I knew, she had him outside. I don't know why your babysitter doesn't yank her son by the shoulder right back. <laughs> and that's, she had him outside. He walked out, and she didn't do anything. All right, he, uh, outside, and I realized I should be out there with him. And he was already walking back in, upset and fighting tears, but told me that she had said that uh, if, and if these stakes got moved, someone's going to be fined and they're going to have to pay her for that several hours later because she was still upset because he randomly said, I think she's a bully. I'm not giving her the money. Did those stakes ever get pulled out or no? I'm not sure. I know when and uh, when that happened and where the stakes were. Look, the survey is something that you do for the protection of your own land where you decide that you want to have this done, and that's fine. The survey still exists. The survey doesn't fail to exist because someone pulled out the stake. Why they would have to then pay you for the survey, I'm not very clear on. Um, I do understand for sure the trespassing signs. I do understand for sure the removal of the garden fence. And I do understand for sure the removal of the fire pit. Uh, a lot of the rest of this stuff, things that you did to protect yourself in the county by filing things or going to a lawyer, you're not entitled to that. And you're certainly not going to get harassment and emotional distress. What you're going to get are the things that I already talked about. And you're going to get something far more important in just one second. $230.84 for the destruction of stuff and removal of stuff that you didn't remove. But more importantly, I am declaring right here, right now, because I am the, the judge of this case between you, that there are no adverse possession rights here. We need to be very, very clear. The party's over. It's over. Whatever agreement you have with the other people, you don't have now. No one's asking you to take care of the property, watch out for the property, or anything else. This is not your property, and you just need to deal with it and move on. Understood. That's my verdict. Good luck, folks. Thank you. So the plaintiff does prevail, but she only gets a couple of hundred bucks, not the several thousand dollars she was seeking. Ms. Kennedy, I must say, you come, off, come across as a rather unreasonable lady in many respects. How do you respond to all of this? Yeah, was I wrong to engage with her? Yes, I yes, was. Yes, you were. Um, but $5,000? No. Well, and I'm, get, and I'm, and I'm super glad that the judge was able to see that that was ridiculous. The bottom line is, what's going to happen now? Um, I'm going to go in my house every time she's in the backyard, like Good. I have been doing. Okay. Good enough. That'll do it. Thank you so very much. Thank you, sir. All right, Ms. Coles. You didn't get thousands of dollars. You got a couple hundred bucks. How do you feel about that? You okay? I'm going to sell the property. I don't want anything to do with these really? people. Oh, you yeah. want to get rid of it? Now. I want to sell it. I don't want to see them again. To, to, to accuse me of, of saying mean things or swearing to their children, yeah. all my years in Child Protective Services, I Not never true. would have done that. I wouldn't have been a Child Protective right. Services worker. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Harvey, you're a lawyer. What's your reaction to this case? Doug, here's the thing. I mean, you know, in addition, this is like adverse possession. Everybody thinks all you have to do is keep it for a certain amount of time. You have to pay taxes on it. There's a whole thing for adverse possession. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.